A woman is speaking with WRTB for the first time since losing her son to gun violence last month. As someone who is very involved and cares about her community, this loss is devastating, only invigorating her more to stand up and fight for young people. Our Stephanie Wade shares this powerful story. I would take flowers and give them to parents at a funeral. Never imagining when my son turned 20 years old, that someone would be handing me flowers. On August 21st, Crystal Gray received a call that her son, Kevin Ritchie Jr., had been shot. My emotions are still kind of unexplainable. It's still shocking, it's still scary. From what Gray understands, her son was mistaken to be somebody else and was shot in the 900 block of Edgemont Avenue on the near northwest side. I understand that he expressed to that person that that's not me. That ain't me, bro. And the person still pulled the trigger and shot him. As the country and world chant in the streets, Black Lives Matter to end police brutality, Gray is calling for an end to another kind of brutality. We are fighting against each other, not the police against black people, not, you know, whites against black, but we're fighting youth against youth, young black youth against young black youth. Saying we have to do better as a community and how little the regard is for human life. We are killing each other and we're leaving blood, blood stains on people's homes, in their communities, in the middle of the street. It has to stop. Young men with guns, whether it be because of a lack of structure, community building, resources. Gray says we can point to many reasons as to why this is happening, but says we now have to find solutions. I cannot allow myself to sit in my seat and someone else loses a child. As someone who's sat on several boards before to help others in the community. I know now this is my purpose. I can't run from it anymore. It's knocking at my front door, so I have to do something. And I plan on linking up with different people in the community to not try to find a, a solution, but find the best solution that will help us to stop having to bury our children at the age of 20 years old. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. Well, this case is still unsolved. If you have any information to bring this family closure and understand what happened to their son, Call Crime Stoppers. That number is 317-262-TIPS. We are working for you to help you find out more about what's going on in your neighborhood. You can learn more about each of this year's homicides and the status of each investigation with our interactive homicide map. You can find it at wrtv.com crime.